Mr. President, Mr. Javad Larijani, the Secretary General of Iranian High Council for Human Rights, said during this session's high-level segment, I quote, it is quite hard to imagine a system of governance which deprives its citizens from the very basic and minimal rights to participate in shaping their destiny and at the same time to claim adherence to human rights and its promotion, end of quote. We must say we could not agree more. It is indeed hard to imagine how Mr. Larijani could speak of human rights at the UN while back home in Iran, the government systematically persecutes an entire community for their belief in the Baha'i faith. It is hard to imagine how his government can claim to uphold human rights when in January of this year, 25 Baha'is in northern Iran were sentenced to prison terms of between 6 to 11 years just for being Baha'is. In the court verdict which handed down their sentences, it actually stated that belief in the Baha'i Prophet is in itself considered propaganda against the Islamic Republic of Iran. What more proof is needed than this? Mr. President, the Human Rights Council stands for the high ideals of justice and human rights. Those in positions of power are responsible for implementing laws that, as Mr. Larijani said, ensure citizens have access to basic rights that allows them to participate in the life of their communities. Sadly, the Baha'is in Iran have, for more than 30 years, been deprived of their most fundamental rights. They are not allowed to enter universities, Baha'is cannot hold public service jobs, their private businesses are attacked, and they are imprisoned without reason, and their cemeteries are destroyed. The government, on a daily basis, spreads lies and accusations against them through the state-controlled mass media, not allowing them even one chance to respond. The Baha'is in Iran ask for no special privilege, but only for their rights, and they hope that the international community will continue to put pressure on the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran.